Your dear students, welcome to Quantum Guru. In this video, I am going to derive expression for the radius of curvature at a point on a curve. So, this is a curve y is equal to f of x and at this point x comma y, I want to derive expression for the radius of curvature. So, in a good term, radius of curvature at a point on a curve is the radius of the best fitting circle that can fit through that point on the curve. So to uh, get to the expression, we'll do some simple geometrical construction. First thing, what I will do, uh, let me make a tangent at this point, x comma y. Suppose tangent here makes an angle theta uh, from the positive x-axis. And now I want to go uh, along the curve very close to this point. Suppose I take another point, which is very close to x comma y. Uh, very close mean almost near that point. So according to calculus, so if this is a point very close to this point, so let me uh, write the coordinates x plus dx comma y plus dy. So if I draw tangent at this point, because this is very close to this point, so the inclination here will close, will change very small. So if the inclination here is theta, so inclination here is theta plus d theta. So basically I want to uh, find the radius of curvature at x comma y. And this is a very close uh, po uh, point to, this is a point very close to x comma y. So if I want to find the radius of curvature here, so I have to find the best fitting circle through x comma y and uh, at one point, there can be infinite circles that can be tangent. So I need at least two points. So the, the two points that I'm taking, this is x comma y and x plus dx comma y plus dy. So here the best fitting circle I will draw. So uh, let me take this length of the part of this curve from x comma y to x plus dx comma y plus dy. Uh, that length is suppose ds. If I make a perpendicular on the curve at this point and at this point, so these perpendicular I'll, are like this. Basically, these perpendicular are the perpendicular on the tangents. So if two lines, these lines are inclined at an angle d theta. So if two lines make an angle d theta, so their perpendicular will also make angle d theta. So now from here, uh, we have to find the best fitting circle. So if these are the perpendicular of the best fitting circle, so obviously this point has to be the center of that circle. And then this length and this length would be the radius of curvature like this. And that is going to be the best fitting circle. Now the geometrical construction is done. So it is a matter of straightforward thing to find the radius of curvature. Let's go to the next page. Same diagram. So if this is the best fitting circle and the ds can be treated as a small arc length on the circle, radius is rc and uh, this arc length ds makes angle d theta at the center. So we can write rc is equal to ds by d theta and uh, apply the chain rule. So you can write ds by d theta as a uh, ds by dx into dx by d theta. So we will uh, calculate ds by dx separately and dx by d theta and put it here. So we'll get the value of rc. So for that thing, let, let me get this length of the curve of this part ds. These are very close points. So this ds would be approximately the uh, equal to the length of a straight line from x comma y to x plus dx comma y plus dy. So from the distance formula, that length would be simply ds will be uh, square root of dx square plus dy square. So take dx outside. So if I take dx outside, so inside we'll get uh, 1 plus dy by dx whole square. So uh, ds by dx will get 1 plus dy by dx whole square and power 1 by 2. 
that is second equation. So we have obtained this thing ds by dx and we have to get to obtain ds by d theta. So for that thing what we'll do? Uh, look at this point here. This is x comma y tangent here makes angle theta from the positive x axis. So slope here is dy by dx from calculus and that same thing is tan theta from coordinate geometry. Differentiated with respect to x again you will get uh, d2y by dx square. We are differentiating with respect to x so apply chain rule first differentiate with respect to theta and then multiply d theta by dx. So you will get here a sec square theta d theta by dx. Come back here. Basically, I have to get dx by d theta. ds by dx we have already got. So, dx by d theta to get that, let me arrange that. So, dx by d theta would be how much? Uh, sec square theta divided by uh, d2y by dx square. And sec square theta is 1 plus 10 square theta and 10 theta is dy by dx. So, that would be simply 1 plus dy by dx whole square divided by d2y by dx square. So now we have to just put the two things. This is equation 3. From equation 3 dx by d theta 1 plus dy by dx whole square divided by d2y by dx square and from equation 2 ds by dx is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square power 1 by 2 into this equation. So if I put it here we will get simply 1 plus dy by dx whole square and that power will be uh, 3 by 2 divided by d2y by dx square that is the expression for the radius of curvature at a point on a curve. So uh, that is the radius of curvature and uh, to be more precise if I want to have this thing as a lens so obviously we'll just put a mod here so that we get a positive answer that is the expression for radius of curvature at a point on a curve thank you